hi there everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Trading Room here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardo. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today we have a, we're doing a fun little deck. We're kind of slightly bringing back witches, but kind of not at the same time. But it's mono blue. So, you know, a bunch of bounce and charge drain and a lot of fun for sure. But before we get into it, we got to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. And today we are doing the Enchanted Storm. And of course our champion is Gillian, the Witch Queen. And what she does is you exhaust, reveal any number of spells from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If the spell cost is equal or less than the number of cards revealed from your hand, add it to your hand. So you just draw a card basically at the end of turn. And sure it gives them information, but also you get to draw a turn. Yeah, that's free cards. Yeah. The next one, and we're using the new spirit, the, the cute little otter spirit. Exhaust, pay two, target unit you control is unblockable, so Guardian can be used, which will definitely get you through. And then Soul Burst, target unit gains unblock. So this hopefully can just sometimes just win you the game. Yeah, Little Otter is awesome. Yeah, because you can exhaust, pay two, unblockable, and then Soul Burst, make it another thing unblockable and go for it. Yeah. Our first guy of the deck is the Amateur Witch, and she is a one drop 1000, just vanilla witch. But I'll take it all day because yeah. a one drop 1000 can kill most towers and just gives you good board presence, really. Yeah. The swing in and hit a red tower immediately, destroying a 1000, 1000, one drop for no reason. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take it. The next one, uh, also a 1000, one drop, is Rex, the Child of Brilliance. Uh, if you would control Soul Drain, if you would use Soul Drain, you may sacrifice this card instead of returning a shard to your shard deck which in turn can help you out quite a bit, depending on which yeah. one you use it for. So you don't lose out on your lands when you shard drain things, yeah. which is pretty strong. Which is awesome. Next up is the Maiden of Leviathan, and it is two for a 1500. Arrive, you may flip one of your towers face up. Then if you have two or more towers face up, draw a card. This card is a lot better than I gave it credit for, because it's a two drop cantrip that can kill every tower. Yep. By itself. And even if, like, you don't have to flip up a tower, like, there's no, that's just a thing you can do. Yeah. If they've already destroyed two of your towers, you're like, cool, pay two draw card. Thanks. That's it. And I have 1,500 to swing in. Yeah, sure. Thanks. The next one is Phantasmal Paladin. It's a two drop, 2,000. It's a Omega unit. So you have to place on top of one of your water units. So you turn one witch and then turn two this guy. But put a unit from under this card in your discard zone. Return target unit you know, with Guardian on top of or bottom of its owner's deck. So, especially if you play this, swing in, hit their white tower, and then just remove that one drop out of the way and then get rid of that guardian, like super free. Yeah. Next up is the Iakuma Wavebender. It is three for a 1500. Arrive, rest, return target unit to its owner's hand. So just, you get a good sized dude and you bounce a dude. You just tempo plays. Simple as that. Another Omega unit, Witch of the Future. It's a three drop 2500. So you have to place it on one or more of your water units, and this is why. Water spells cost one less play for each unit under the control. So you can make it up to four. So one or four and things could be free by that point. But whenever you would draw a card, you may put a unit from under this card in the discard zone instead. If you do, search your deck for a witch unit or a phantasmal card and add it to your hand. So this also can get you things. Yeah, it's a tutor and it makes your spells cost less. Yeah, Seems yeah. Seems pretty good. Uh, next up is Effie, the evil witch. She's five for a 3,000. When this card attacks, you may reveal two different spells from your hand. If you do, return up to X target units from your opponent controls to the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. X is the number of witches you control. So if you have at least a couple witches, you get to bounce two dudes and just be like, hey, cool, your dudes go away. Yep. And I hope to actually swing in and get something off of this because I've not yet been able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't let the thing swing because yeah, it's no. angry. That's very angry. All right. Also, one of the very first powerful cards of the whole Arjun Saga is May You Grand Sorceress. It's a six drop 3500 legendary. All right. Return target spell in your discard zone to your hand, which is amazing. If you do, the next spell you play this turn costs zero. It doesn't have to be the one that you grab. It can be anyone in your hand, which is amazing. And then once per turn, you can play this card with Shard Drain. When you play a card with Shard Drain or use Shard Drain, return target unit, uh, another unit on top of its owner's deck, which is very powerful. So if it gets to live one or two turns, you just win the game. Yeah. And it 
I have been at the receiving end of that chick, and it is not good. Yeah. Homegirl does a lot of work. She gets to sit and play. You just slow their draws constantly, probably every turn and if possible. even more now with the little Rex dude that says my shard drain is him dying instead. Yeah. It's gonna be ridiculous. Next up is Gillian, the interdimensional witch. She is six for a 5,000 unit. She's an Omega unit, and it has to place on two of your units. One is including at least a witch. So you have to have a witch and another dude. To, to Omega this one and she says exhaust put a unit under this card into the discard zone expel up to two target units your opponent controls if you do the zones that unit occupies cannot be used for the rest of the game <laughs> so you Ridiculous. can shut them down to like one or two spots and be like hey cool you don't get any more than this yep and that's what it's just crazy it's just crazy because once that happens you win the game because it eats two of their slots forever, and it eats those dudes that are in play already. Yeah. So you get double value out of that, and that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, and if they if they have one unit, if they dare play another unit, then you can take those two slots again, because you have to... Yeah. You have two units under the switch, no matter what. Yeah. So that's just crazy. All right, next one is Phantasmal Gigant. <laughs> Eight drop, 5,000. It is a Phantasm Destroyer Shark Man. This card costs one less to play for each different Phantasmal card in your discard zone. And when this card attacks, deals X, uh, X thousand, we'll say, to target unit or face up tower. X equals the number of different Phantasmal cards in your discard zone. So it just it destroys dudes. Pretty big much. Shark is big. Yeah. He's a big shark and he's pissed off. Yeah, he does not like you in your face. No. Nope. Next up is Phantasma Guards, is the first spell. It is one, put two illusion units into play that are guardians with 500. These tokens cannot attack. This card is just a really good setup card to protect you until you get to your late game stuff or your middle game stuff. Yeah, agreed. Next one is Ancient Serpent's Breath. It's a one drop an instant cast and everyone loves this card. As a, well, we'll say return target unit uh, costs two or less to its owner's hand. Then that owner draws one card, but it also has shower drain one. If you do return target unit to the top of its owner's deck. So therefore, they can bounce your own dude, draw a card, bounce theirs, bounce two of their dudes. It's just awesome. Yeah, this card gets ridiculous really quickly. Yeah. Uh, next up, Omega Magic Mizu. It is two for an Instacast spell. Choose one, or if you have two remaining towers, you choose two. Draw a card, exhaust target unit, or return target unit to its owner's hand if it's exhausted. Yep. So you go top down and you can do whatever ones you want. Most of the time you're going to draw a card slash tap if you want. Yeah. Or if they swung, definitely do that. But like you said, it goes top down so you can tap a dude and bounce it if mm -hmm. need be. Now the next one is Phantasmal Storm. This is actually a pretty underrated card right here. It's a two drop insta cast spell, deal 2,000 to target unit. Just kill a dude for two, thanks. No. But you can shard raid one, expel this card from your discard zone and search up for another one. So you can do it again, which is amazing. This card is awesome. Yeah, this card is silly good. Yeah. It's so strong because it's so hard to deal with because there's two mana and be like, kill that and then pay one, get extra. I mean, you hear it right now. It's calling out to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, it knows. Next up is Tidal Rush. It is three for an Instacast spell. As additional cost to play this card, you may shard in one. If you do, return target unit to its owner's hand. And then return target unit to its owner's hand, then draw a card. So yeah. three mana, shard drain, you bounce two dudes. And you draw a card. Solid. Can trip. And got the board that says value to me. Yeah. Next one is Gillian's uh, Gambit. It's three drop spell. As additional cost to play this spell, flip your champion face down. So hence why we only have one in the deck. If your champion is Gillian, the Witch Queen, look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order. And why would you want to do that? Because reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a water unit, put it into play. Otherwise, send it to the discard zone and your opponent may destroy one of your towers. So, you're, if you look at the top five and you don't have a water unit, that's just sadness right there. Yeah. But you gotta worry, because you cannot do it with Omega units either, so you have to have something else. Yeah, but if you hit, like, the giant shark on it, yeah. then they're real sad. Because you're like, ah, turn three, I have a 5,000 dude. Yeah. Good thanks. luck. Next up is the Phantasmal Army. It is four for a spell. Put into play an illusion token that's a 1,000 equal to the number of units your opponent controls. And then shard drain one, expel this card from your discard zone, search for another one of these and add it to your hand. So this just kind of gets you back into that game because if they have like five dudes, you can be like, cool, I need five dudes. Yeah. And your dudes, you can swing them into theirs next. 
and it just gets it's just very helpful yeah especially if they go repo bloom and they build a board and then you can be like oh i have a board too mm -hmm. thank you and i'll swing in your dudes the, that is the deck and of course we'll go into the shards and we have the spirit ruby of course legendary shard that we have to use all the time uh, exhaust flip your spirit face down destroy target unit because it's good it's so strong it's it's just it's gonna be there because it, it, you need it to kill it dude exactly and then of course we have the cryptic crystal which is i think one of my favorite special shards out there so arrive look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order so you know what you're going to be drawing and then with gillian you know if how many cards you can show off to grab this card yeah. if it's a spell and then of course just the argent shards as well uh with that uh we do I have a uh, honorable mentions not really a sidebar or not just in case you want to throw it in but azura guardian it's a two drop 2000 which is amazing and it's a guardian but it cannot attack so this is just here to stave off uh aggro decks really quick yeah it does a really good job at it because i remember playing against this and being like that that's a big dude yeah that dude's annoying that's a two drop big dude i don't know how to deal with that right now yeah and he's also if you don't want to attack then you just omega him and then swing in later yeah simple as that well, with that, that is the deck, and it will be the list will be down below. And hopefully, you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.